Hi hey guys and welcome back to another video um, from me today and uh, what we're going to be doing is talking about another quick app um, as per normal. Um, before I start don't forget to hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the like button if you like these videos and uh, as I've mentioned before is if you're wanting to a specific quick app or some specific information please don't hesitate to get in touch and which is why i'm uh, i'm doing this video today we've had some uh, i've had a query from a client and one of the things that fibara support mentioned to them was that the logs were getting um, filled up too quickly and hence slowing the system down so um so this video is really going to be about how to prevent a bit of sluggishness. So there's a couple of things that we can do, or you can do as well, to, to make things uh, easier and make the system run a lot better. So the first thing I suggest, um, and this is what I do whenever I'm installing a system, is to uncheck the box Save Events to Log Panel. So that is actually on every single device so if you whether it's a quick app whether it's a device doesn't matter what it is if you click on the settings icon and it'll bring up the status here click on the advanced tab and then just here uh uncheck make sure you uncheck this box what this means is it won't log this specific device to the event so that saves that little bit of time now if you've got a lot of devices and if everything is logging then as you can understand and appreciate there's only so much processing power and if some of that is going to be taken in making logs then it'll soon clutter up and take valuable system resources so make sure this is unchecked and hit save okay that's number one number two once you've done all that um, there's another tool that we have and that's called remeshing what that does is it allows you, the user, to effectively tell, force the hub center to talk to every single device. So it, work, it can work out like a map as to where all the devices are. So it will allow the communication between devices to be refreshed. And this way, everything is listening out for everything to so it can then hopefully work out a better pathway a much quicker pathway to send and receive signals so in order to do that um again once you're on the settings menu click on z wave so if you're on the home menu here so let's click on settings z wave and here reconfigure mesh network now you've got two ways of doing this i suggest the longer method is to do the whole network. Um, the shorter method is to do a specific devices. So what I tend to do is uh, I tend to do the, the 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 overnight method, and I would just choose entire Z Wave network, and then I hit reconfigure. A pop up box will come along, and you just accept it, and then just once you press reconfigure, what I suggest you just leave it alone, let it do its thing, and uh, more than likely, last thing on a night. And that's it and let it be um, it usually takes a couple of hours depending on number of devices how many battery operated devices because with battery devices it has to wake up before it can send a signal so um, that's probably the only error you'll get if you do get one um, just waiting for the devices to wake up really so the mains operated pretty much respond straight away so that's that and finally um, the other method that um, we look at is logs. Now, the historic history one, so which is here, if you click on that, that pretty much logs everything what's been done. Now, some of these uh, we can't switch off. So, for example, when a scene starts or when a device turned on and off, etc. So, but, ah, look at this. Um, this one, device 377. So if I want to find that out what that is, because we can actually switch that off. So if I go over here and click on a device, I can then go to my address bar at the top and change that to 377, because that's a quick way of getting to a device. And it didn't work. 
370. 373. So 377 wasn't listed. Oh, it's 378. My bad. It's 378. All right. ID. ID is here. ID is here. So always look at that. These are just the names. So 377 was just the name and 378 um, was my ID. So here I can go through as well, double checking to, and, you know, switch, get some of these uh, modules um, uh, switched off. So uh, 377, 718. So let's just do that. So while we're at it, so 377, um, so that's three seven eight. No, uh, seven seven one eight. Seven one eight. Here it is. That advanced save save. So it looks like um, the, some of those devices are hidden. Okay, so that's unchecked. Um, if I go back onto here and you can click on hidden and then I can try and here it is 377 that's why I couldn't find it in the first place because it was a hidden device so advanced and uncheck okay and this one to make sure it's unchecked click on advanced uncheck so that's how you go through it See, I'm still learning as well. So, um, but let's get rid of that. Now, so here's the, so like I was saying, this is the history tab. So there's something that I'm going to go around and doing and checking and then removing all the devices. Now, I've got a fair few logs now um, going across here. But what we want to do is to make it easier, let's get rid of this logs and keep it clean. So I've developed this quick app. So it's here, it's called the clear events log. As usual, add devices, uh, upload file, and you can upload this file. There are two ways of running it. You can either, I can either just click, oh, sorry, before that, variables. You need to input your username, input the password, and input the IP address. Uh, since the latest updates, the you can just press the pencil icon and you're able to input the new password details. I know before I said you had to delete it, but they've updated that now. So you can actually um, just click on the pencil icons and update the username, password and IP address. Once you've done that, hit save. Then we click on the edit and preview. So you can either hit this button here like this and action's being called go to history i've only got one left so i've set it down to one and that's it and it's just completely resetted this the other method is what you can do let me just wait for some more to start uh on here so uh, settings scenes show hidden um let's just run that history so i've got two scenes now so if i go back onto here the other option is if i just click on this button turns green so that means it's cleared the events log and then it just resets itself after three seconds to know that you've done and if i click on history again oh well let me do it again we met that i have a, a one minute timer running every one minute so it reactivates all those scenes so let's go back on to history there you are it's gone again so uh, that's another method of running that particular app so i'm going to set up a timer um and i'm going to get this running every minute base uh, sorry every day so midnight i'm just going to let it reset and that will help keep the cache memory clean the logs clean and that's it and keep it that way um as I said, it's available in the shop for £5, uh, as usual, the nominal amount. So um, good luck and any questions, as usual, just give us a shout and I should be able to answer anything for you. 
thank you very much for watching and uh, bye for now and don't forget to like if you liked and subscribe and you'll be notified of new videos and new updates as you can see here i've got a few more um quick apps i've developed so um i've got one two and three more so they should be coming uh, the video should be coming out shortly okay bye for now